How's it going people? My name is Shadow and we're here again in Conan Exiles. If you haven't noticed, yes, I am wearing a different armor in preparation for what we are doing today. But just very quickly, in the previous episode, I had no idea what the hell was going on. Uh, but at least something went right. Obviously, we went up to the Frost Temple. That went completely wrong. And yeah, just things weren't going particularly right. But we did go and defeat the Priest King and got the diadem of the giant kings. That's all stored away. At the moment in my inventory, I have some numbing wraps. I've made myself pure aloe extract. I'm using some concentrated as well. And I have them on my hot wheel as well. That is because obviously we're going down to the Unling City today. We are in need of relic fragments because we got to level 60. I am now down to my final 10 feet points or knowledge points and we need a lot more. I mean, I have everything for all the crafting stations, but I don't have anything for like enough armor. Uh, I could have got myself the Aquilonian Guardman Epic gear set which is what I'm wearing right now but I haven't been able to get myself any better weapons or shields or anything like that I mean at the moment what I'm using is pretty decent but I did find a map of the unnamed city I'll put it up on screen for you now showing where all the relic fragments are there are 17 relic fragments dotted around these have a chance to spawn after reset obviously after server reset and then anywhere up between, I think it was two to four hours that I just read up saying that they can spawn. So there's a chance that we may find them. There's a chance that we may not. The other one is uh, all the red skulls that you're seeing right now. They are all the bosses that we are going after that actually drop relic fragments. So those are the two things that we're doing today is we're looking for all the relic fragments, if there are any and defeating those bosses that are there as well. I will show you the other two things that show up on the map. So you've got all the main bosses, all the white skulls that are showing on the screen right now. And then you've got all the mini bosses, all of the cross sword ones. From what I've read up, those don't drop um, relic fragments or anything like that. But I know some of the mini bosses, I know I defeated one uh, at the end of one of the previous episodes when I was running around uh, trying to get demon blood. I ended up getting the heart of a hero and obviously it's got a spoil time on it. I figured out what I needed to do it for so I was thinking you know what I'll try and keep it, try and see if I can save that obviously because the spoil time on it's a bit stupid when able to but we got some fridges now so if I do get one I put it pop it in the fridge and then we can take it down to where it needs to go to for the next one. But I am literally stood here at the forge because I need to grab all of the hardened brick that I had made last night. Because once I walk all the way over to this crate, I have everything stored that I need to make a blacksmith, armorer, two forges, two tanneries, a carpenter's bench. I think there's other things as well. But right here, that is all the resources we need in order to make the uh, highest tier crafting stations. I will be making myself two fireball cauldrons, just so you know. Um, so there might be a little bit extra resources here, but it's usually good to have a bit extra than, you know, having less, so you have to wait for longer. But hopefully, depending on what happens at the end of this episode and depending on how it goes, depending on how long we're in the Unlean City for, I may stick it in at the end of the episode of me upgrading all of the stations. So, without further ado, let us go ahead and grab Anna. I've gave her the uh, Stygian Soldier stuff. And I found a Black Ice Longsword up at... What camp was it called again? There's a... Yeah, that one there. Stargazer's Crest. I went up there again because I was looking for Star Metal. I did find one rock there and another rock there. Obviously, yeah, I know these have a random chance of spawning anywhere along here, but these are potential spots, so at least I've got them marked, uh, along with no name. I need to change that. But yeah, at Stargazer's Crest, I looked in the box and it came out with a uh, black ice longsword, so I decided to give that to her and I see if she does better with that than the great axe she was using. So let's go ahead and make sure she has some food. Give her complete stacks. Uh, how am I for food? I got my buffs, so yeah, we should be okay. 
Before you uh, say anything, yes, I do know that both me and Anna are wearing armor that gives us increased agility weapon damage. But if I pull out my daggers, go to my stats, I uh, can see that damage total 80, 44 from weapon, 3 from strength, strength 2 from uh, agility, and 11 from items. If I go ahead and pull out my axe and my shield, 117, 64 from weapon, 48 from strength, 3 from agility, 2 from items. So, right before we run off, I forgot to tell Anna to follow me. Follow. What level are you anyway? Almost level 20, so you've almost got your final perk. Nice. Hopefully we get that for you. I have been considering uh, dropping another yellow lotus potion and doing my attributes so it's full strength, full vitality and a lot of grit and not worry about agility or expertise at the moment. I've got Elixir of Nome which gives me extra carry capacity and strength obviously gives me a little bit extra encumbrance anyway. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna need to get some more blood soon. Two blood, two of you. Straight into there and get it crafted. Lovely and use. Right, I am over and coming. Yes, I know. Right, attributes. Let's go full strength. Let's go. Yeah, combo finisher. Get berserker and then yeah, let's go for blood mad berserker because I can mix that. Uh, being effect. No, get get fifty percent that. Because if I go for Resurgence, then that will um, cancel out the fact that I just took Berserker. And Robust. And I know a lot of people like to go for Glutton for Punishment. When you take damage, you generate the last instance of damage over 15 seconds. No. Go for Land Stand. When your health drops below 50, you remove all negative effects in the game. And 95 damage mitigation for a short time. Mix that with Berserker and you... Honestly, it goes so well. And then put the last points in to grit. Then we've got tenacity, getting more armor. Uh, go for stout. Defensive posture, incoming damage is received by 15. Yeah. Incoming damage is reduced by 15% when you are attacking or blocking, which is good because a lot of the combos that we do, obviously, it doesn't knock them back all the time. And then this one, I'm considering going for stout. Steel Thewed. So we cannot take more than 33 of our maximum health damage per hit because I know that there's going to be some very, very heavy hitters in the Unleaf City. So let's go for that. And that is our setup. Full strength, full vitality, and a full grit. So let's go ahead. Obviously, let's go and quickly use some of the little potions. Lovely. How are we doing now on weight? Go ahead and take one of them, one of them. And we're not doing too bad. We should be able to uh, carry all the relic fragments that we can find. And hopefully um, some legendaries as well. So let's go to the unnamed city. Right, Anna. Oh, wow. Can I get away from this corruption, please, before you all decide to muller me? Can I attack, please? Anything useful? I will take the demon blood. Because I'm not actually here for mm, much stuff up. But that was a great start. Almost getting completely bloody uh, done in already. That was not nice. But that does spawn you in a bloody stupid spot. You spawn in, and then all of a sudden you've got fucking four of them just looking at you. Hello. <coughs> And, he's, and I get off the body. Uh, no. Right, if I go ahead and look at the map, we should have one right here somewhere. Unless it's down there. Oh, I just clicked on it, it says 
found at the base of the tower between... Yeah, so I clicked on it. It says, I found at the base of a large tower between the tower and a high wall. Which is not the mic. I do apologize. So I'm guessing that's the tower. And that's the high wall. There it is. There we go. Like I said, I was about to say, some of these can spawn in chests. There we go. Relic fragment. Nice. And some of them can just literally be poking out of the sand. Anna, which one are you going for? Right, okay. Anything decent? Not particularly. Alright, let's we'll make a clear hit. How the hell did I just get staggered by knocking off what? Take that. It's like he just decided to block with his face and I bounced off of it. Right, let us get up to here. I know that there's a mini boss uh person up here. Ah! Funnily enough, it's where we got this axe from. Ah! Anna, are you actually going to engage someone or are you gonna just let them beat your ass? I don't know what's going on with her recently. Sometimes she'll attack and sometimes she'll just stand there like a pleb. Right, are you here? Yes, you are. Right, just before I do fight you, I want to drink my coffee. Right, let's get going. Now, I know there is a new skeleton. There you are. Oh, mate. I want to deal with you on your own before I pull matey over. There we go. There is another one. How about you shoot me in the ankle? Right, uh, let's deal with you. This is gonna be a fight. Right, hopefully Anna actually does some damage to this guy. Yeah, do that again, I don't want to see how much damage you're doing. Wow, you are hardly doing fucking anything. Did you see that there? My character was literally just doing a little... Like, hop forward and not moving. Honestly, that was me tapping RT to do the... Well, that attack. And he was like, no, I'm not attacking. Yeah, I'm doing way more damage than she is. The weird thing is, is that this axe doesn't have any armor penetration. Whereas her sword does. So technically she should be doing more damage than me. And you are dead. What we got, what we got, we have... He said, argument. Look at that. And a fragment of power. Nice. A crystalline guardian. Yeah, let's take that. Grandmaster, you take that. Don't know what they're for, but we'll take them as well. And it is getting night time by the looks of it. Right, just before we get started. Anna, take that. I reckon you're going to do a more damage with that than anything else. Right, I did bring my... No, I forgot to bring my torch. Right. I don't particularly want to be waiting around too much, especially in certain areas. But what the hell is that floating there? You can see that, right? Yeah, you can see that. That. What the hell is that floating? Right. Give me. I literally looked up. It's about two or three minutes for uh, night time for me. So I will be with you in a minute. All right. I don't know if it's going to be light enough for you lot to see. Uh, it should get lighter. 
For me, it's pretty light. Um, I'll probably edit this bit out for you. Uh, just so it's a bit brighter for you. But there is, if we go, we need to get on top of this. So according to the map, there is a relic fragment up here somewhere. Or a potential for one. I don't know why I'm going to try to climb that. Oh, hello, hello. The hell did the other one come from? No, I, could, I couldn't tell if Anna was doing more damage then or not. Yeah, we need to go up there. So, uh, yeah, let's go up this slope. Oh, look, a bit of lore. Shield up. You take the wrong fight. Run, I don't want to see how much damage you're doing. I am doing way more damage. That is very shocking. I'll take the call. Considering, look at her stats now. She's reached level 20. Uh, she's got a plus 3 uh, into vitality. So she's good for health. And according to that strength, she's supposed to be hitting hard. But according to the attribute bonuses, she's getting more damage from agility than strength. Ah, oh, come on! Here is the place that has been set aside for your people, bonded one. Here, you can find rest and succor between elements. Reading is encouraged. We can always use more servants. Come on, technically I'm in shelter. What the hell? No. Come on, there's got to be shelter around there. Technically that's shelter from the sandstorm because there's a giant rock in from my face. Yeah, whatever. Hit a pass. Right, I need to get out of here. Uh, oh, a chest. Lovely. Take that. Take the purple lotus. I don't know if you could see where I came up from, but this is where we just fought the skeletons. That's the slave tablet. Literally right up there in that little gap, if you can see it. Uh, sandstorm should be gone. Yeah. Right, up here. Along there somewhere. I've just had a power cut. Oh, you are joking me. The power cut killed me. Uh, oh, I need to be running that way. Yeah, right. So I shall see you back up at the, the Unnamed City. Uh, can't believe that power cut killed me. Uh, almost back to the Unnamed City. And now I've got, yeah, I've got to get to the other side of the Unnamed For fuck's sake. Right, let's just hope I can get to my body without dying. I'm up there, I think. No, it's that one I'm up. I just want to know what killed me because I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't in a fight when. It crashed. I wasn't getting chased. I know you lot didn't chase me. I was just trying to climb this wall. My body should be around there. I hope my body is apparently... Oh, so is that what happened? My body just kept on running forward. Okay then. Let's grab all of that. Uh, so... That means Anna's dead as well, isn't she? Ah, oh. yeah, Anna's gone. Ah, oh, fucking power cut. I am really not in the mood right now. This is just going to make things a lot fucking difficult. She was fucking max level as well. Carrying a legendary. Uh, I think I should have rightly named this one. Can anything go right today? Because this one seems to be going bloody wrong. Just piss off. Take coins. Yeah, there's a... Uh, Relic fragment around here, apparently. It might be up there, up there, up there, I don't know. Just says it's accessible by climbing. I'm trying to go by what the picture looks like, but 
Doesn't look like anything like the other picture. Is first one that we found. That was down meant to be down by the pillar between the pillar and the wall. Or the tower and the wall. I looked there and apparently it was on top of the pillar. Why is that is that really still in the game, Funcom? No, there's nothing up there. I held A, you can fuck off. And again. Uh, I know there's apparently one over this side, but let's see if we can find that one. Around here somewhere. Let me just deal with the tail. So I can read them. Oh my god, that's too many. That is too many for one. Run. Just run. Uh, run. Come on. I don't see how the thing fucking cripples you. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm the master of the controller. I say A, which means jump. I'm not in the fucking mood today. I thought what just happened. I don't think it's up there either. Let me quickly. Bound on the structure east of the entrance of the archives in an alcove to the right of the four armed statue, accessible only by climbing. Four armed statue. That thing? So it's got to be up there then. There it is. That is three relic fragments we now have. So that is 30 knowledge points if we munch on them right now, which will be useful. Um, I need to eat and drink that. Damn. I swear if something else goes wrong today, I'm just calling it. I mean, to say that I've had to stop the previous recording and start again, I have no idea how long I've been going on for. Probably a good half an hour. That I've been going on for 45 minutes yet. Yeah, there is a world boss down here somewhere. Well, not world boss, a uh, boss that can drop legendaries and a fragment of power. Mate, are you really following me that far? I guess you were. And his name is the Commander. And that is in down there. So let us go fight this one. I know there is a certain boss that I want to go kill. Uh, that one down there in the aviary. Winged death. Oh my god, that is a lot of skeletons there. Can I get just one or... No, I've got a whole line coming after me. Oh my god. That wasn't too bad. Nothing I really need. Don't you look. Follow me. Um, that is beginning to piss me off that they can. They can stop you mid-combo, yet you can't stop them. I thought Funcom balanced that out and stopped it from happening. Really? All of them followed me except for one. Just my luck. Fuck off. Right, now it's just me and you, matey. Um, I'm sorry, but I was blocking then. So if we can stack some bleed on you. No, I can't because he is undead. Don't look how quickly he can attack after you, he gets staggered. Oh, 
don't miss on it. Okay, that last stand only lasts for about five seconds. Okay. I'm sorry, but LT, LT, you working? Yes, good. Swing your bloody axe. Jesus Christ. Is that left top? No, nope, it's Heater Augment. At least we got that thing. Uh, at least we got it back. What have we got? Hardened Steel Sickle. Two minutes Hardened Steel. Great Axe. Perfected Hardened Steel Short Sword. I don't really like Steel Short. A uh, Star Metal Pick. Alright, let's take all of that. That's all useful. What about you? Uh, just some gold. Alright. Uh, what happened to the music? Why did it just abruptly restart itself? Alright, let us do one more. And get down to the aviary. Or avia aviary? Aviary? Yeah, aviary, yeah. How are we doing on durability? We are doing fine. These legendary weapons are exactly like they are. Legendary on durability. Right, aviary wing to death. Is it you? No, it is. Yeah, it is down that way. Yeah, it's right here. Now, this is going to be interesting. Hi. Hopefully you're more of a fight than the uh, albino bat and the tower of bats. I mean, you're taking more damage than the bloody... Uh, to Draugr skeleton people that I've dealt with, the commander in the other one. You know what, I could probably stack some bleed on you. Another rag, uh, yeah, relic, fragment, fragment of power, however you want to pronounce it. Have a look in your chest. What we got? Black lotus powder, grease orb, frost lotus potion. Uh, give me a random effect. May as well take that. Take that. I don't know why I just took that. I don't need any of that. Ah, uh, let's. Slave, if you have been chosen to work the aviary, be wary. The winged demons that we use to complete our errands are fed on the flesh from the sacrifice pits, and they see your kind as prey. The aviary allows us to rule our empire, carrying the decrees of the triumvirate across the land. Our beasts feed themselves as they travel, and they are intelligent enough to never lose their way. Like you, bonded one. They make excellent servants. I'm sure they do. But, I am going to leave the unnamed city for the moment. Uh, we have five fragments of power, so that should be 50 knowledge points. That should help us get started. I will probably come back here at some point in the future and do the same again because the fragments of a power that we have found in the chests, like I've said at the beginning of the episode, they do respawn. I am literally, I'm just ignoring everything, I'm just going to run. Uh, so yeah, they do respawn 
uh, there is like, I think it was like a 30% chance or something that they spawn on a server restart. And then there is a chance that they will uh, spawn every two to four hours. It's a bit like the uh, meteor shower for the uh, star metal, where it has a chance to spawn on restart. And if it doesn't, it puts like a, it's like a hidden um, tally system that you don't see. Every time it misses a cycle, it, it doesn't uh, spawn it puts a point on to increase the chance of it spawning and increases the amount that she spawns. So let me run all the way over to the Warmaker Sanctuary where we have our map room and I shall see you, uh, well, I'll see you in the Mounds of the Dead and then I shall see you back at camp. Hi. Hey, uh, Mounds of the Dead. There is people up there. By the looks of it, hiding behind rocks. I have not seen that before. That's probably just because they didn't spawn in. Yeah, Man's of the Dead. Just sort of run all the way down to uh, camp there. Right, here we are back up at camp. And it's raining because obviously it's a sad day. We lost Anna. So. Yeah, I'm sorry, but Ulrich, you're the only human we have living up there. Well, I know we've got thralls, but. You're the only one that's actually worth fighting. I may have to take you out at some point to level you up as well. And hopefully you don't die like Anna did due to a bloody power cut. Right, since we are here, let me quickly go into you. And just make a couple more dumping boxes. And just dump everything in there. But now, I'm going to sort everything out. Later. Right, now let's go ahead and consume. Alright, just to make sure. Yep, 10 feed points. Lovely. Let's use them all. We are now up to 60 feed points. Lovely. Right. Okay, run all into here. Go ahead and grab my hammer. No, the hammer. And take all of that. Right. This, I won't have you watch me play every single. Um, crafting station or anything like that I'll do the forge and then the rest of them I'll do later so what I need to do is go into these uh, no actually you, you, you you're staying you're staying I forgot you, you are staying you are going uh, yeah a lot of these things need to get moved around so let's get the furnaces done first all of these boxes moved out of the way. I love that you can do this now. And then you are ahead to get rid of you and you. Crafting stations. Uh, where are they? There they are. Heat efficient furnace. Oh, beautiful. They're the big fat thing. Slap on down there. Might be able to do this. Yeah. Hopefully these boxes will be able to fit into that gap. Right, the game is lagging. Click you, stick you back into there. Same with you. Into there. And then just give you your fuel back. So we've got iron, we've got steel. That can sit on top. We have all the star metal. That can sit there. We have obsidian can go there and then hardened steel and black ice that can go there how is it not what there we go right now i need to upgrade you go ahead all of this moved all right and then delete you and then it is the garrison stuff I'm going for. Blacksmith, yeah, blacksmith bench. I mean, it's overlapping with terrain and objects. I can put this thing in the fucking corner, fuck you. Wait, are you taking the absolute piss? I can't put it back in a corner. It appears I'm going to have to go with a gap. I could have sworn I've had this thing flush to the bloody wall before. Oh, you can go back into there. But you can go back into there. Bloody game. Uh, actually, yeah, I've still got the uh, Garrison's Armour a bench as well as a tin. Overlapping with terrain or object, right. I shouldn't if I move that crate. Yeah! 
I had it then. There we go. You know, you wouldn't start, sit on top of that bloody box, but you sit on that box bloody nicely, wouldn't you? The fuck's it? This game honestly sometimes. Yeah, it's looking like a nice proper workshop now. But I am going to leave it there before I carry on placing anything else down and have you watching all with me hardly saying anything. But I will go round and I will obviously upgrade the rest of the workstations that we have. A few boxes around and make everything look good. So uh, next episode, hopefully, um, I'll have something planned. Uh, I do know I need to get a lot more alchemical base for making the upgraded armor sets that I need. Um, so, next episode won't be the Frost Temple. It'll probably be the episode after, depending on if I can get uh, enough Ickle. That is one thing I need, because I've got loads of gold. Uh, you probably just saw in this chest. I've got tons of gold and silver to make alchemical base. I've literally went in, took all of the uh, coins and bars that we had and just grinded them all down. So we've got plenty of gold and silver dust. I just need Ickle. So I need to go down to some of the spider caves and go and harvest some Ickle off of them because I tried yesterday getting some Ickle off the of scorpions and they hardly drop any. So spiders, I was getting tons of the spiders. So spiders it, spiders it is. Anyway, people, thank you for joining me. And as always, my name has been Shadow. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day, the rest of your evening, or wherever you are in the world. And I shall catch you in the next one. Bye bye.